Hello, 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 and welcome back once again to another episode of Game Developer Tycoon, episode 5 to be exact. I'd like to start by saying the fact that I have five episodes of anything at this point is completely preposterous to me, but I'll go with it. Um, I am actually recording this out of order. I just recorded episode four last night, woke up today, and just felt like doing this instead. And, you know, there's also the fact that I can't record The Sims right now because I'm doing something else and that would probably just destroy my computer's processing power, the cute little laptop that it is. But we're going to move right along into episode number five here. And here we go. I do believe we started off last time, yes, our casual time-traveling game with not-so-great reviews. <laughs> 2,000 units in its first week is not going to make us must Not gonna make us... We're not gonna make a lot of money off of it, that's what I'm trying to say. So, we have Ronnie on vacation. I'm gonna wait until he comes back. I am currently training myself in both design and technology to try to become a better owner of Funbox Incorporated and stop making terrible casual time travel related decisions such as this. <laughs> so I would actually like to see where we are on research topics. Forget what we have. We only have surgery coming up, so I am just going to go right down in line. I'll get Cyberpunk going, and then Ronnie will come back. I'll let him get us one topic, and then we'll hop into our next game. All right, and Ronnie is back from vacation. Pop right back onto the research pile. We're going to give you Dungeon. It's probably going to be the one we use. Although there is that massively successful Surgeon Simulator 2013 game that everybody's been playing, I think we can jump right into something like that. And Oh Hey Socrates is off the market. Sold $156,000 worth of merchandise. Let's check out the profit. I don't want to click on Ronnie. I want to click on the floor. Ah, uh, game history. Oh, hey, Socrates lost $28,000. That is our second game that has ever lost money. The old one being, where was it? Way back. Just before Teacher's Pet, it was Dr. Kiddo the Pox. But Teacher's Pet was a runaway success, so maybe maybe we'll be on to something this time around. Now, oh, hey, Socrates. Yeah. Yeah, that was just a poor concept. I was thinking maybe, like, Bill and Ted. <laughs> Does anyone that subscribes to me get that? Oh, man. Um, let's go into some, some new game here. Let, let's do it. Let's develop new game. Our topic is going to be surgery. That's next in line. We're going to go with simulation. We're going to do surgery simulator. Uh, oh, the play system is out. Let's jump on that, boat. Yeah, we're going to buy the license. I can acquire it. There you go. Uh, right. We're going to keep it on the small side. We're going to make it mature. And for the title. <laughs> Bone saw is ready. We're just going to call it Bone Saw. But I miss you, Macho Man. Picking the game engine is the Roush 2. And let's get into it. see if we can't make any money off of this. So it's a surgery simulator. The engine doesn't need to be too high. The gameplay can... Actually, no, the gameplay I want to make the most intriguing part of this game. The story and quests can drop low. The engine can actually come up just a little bit. Because I'm trying to picture surgery simulator in my head right now. See if we can make that right. So we'll see what kind of work we get done. Looks like kind of a slow start. We've got some hype on it. Dialogues, we can drop quite a bit. Level design, we'll keep up. We want the hospital, the surgery, the OR to look very realistic. The AI will keep right around there. I don't want to put any money into marketing this game, because I have a strange feeling it's not going to be great. And we've actually been losing fans off of the failure if it was Oh Hey Socrates. <laughs> All right, graphics. Get them up. I want you to see the bones and blood. Sound will drop a little bit. World design will drop a little bit. Let's see if we got this one right. There are the kind of experience totals I want to see. Let's get those bugs out, gentlemen. Perfect. Send it out. Make me some cash. Alright, there we go. Great combo. Take a 1.6 multiplier. 
speed through this. Graphics have leveled up again. They are getting a good push lately. And now, from here, let's put it into our pause mode. We've got $1.8 million. We've got 77 research points. We've had a couple bad games come out pretty frequently. So I think, what do we have for another new engine? We can do our 3D graphics version 2. Multiplayer, character progression, better dialogues. That's kind of it. But you know what? I want to be competitive in this market, so we're going to make one. We're going to do this. We're going to do multiplayer. We're going to do character progression. We're going to do better dialogues. Uh, this will be the Roush 3, if I'm not mistaken. And if I'm wrong, you can all let me know in the comments. Because <laughs> I'm sure we'll all find out. $360,000 down the drain, but this will make us some better games. And here are the first reviews for Bonesaw. Oh, man. Oh, good. Good. Make me money. Good, 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 good. Nines are good. Nines are my friends. Eights are okay. Nines are better, though. All right, 8.5. I take it. Let's see how that one sells. Check it out over here. I got a little bit of hype. Nothing crazy, but... All right, over 25k. Not bad. 25k units in its first week. Oh, the chosen platform isn't very popular with the target audience, so Mature and PlayStation do not work well together. Got that. Should have done it on the PC. I was thinking about it, but I was looking at that market share, and I wanted to be technologically sound, so that is good to know. Uh, yes, we will do a small booth at the game convention, please. Thank you. Let's hurry up and get this engine out, and we'll start making some more games. Bonesaw is making us a little bit of cash, but we are dropping. We're under two million now. Good, thank you. And now to make some of that money back, we're gonna jump right into our next game. The topic is going to be cyberpunk and the genre of her. What do you do with cyberpunk? An RPG, I can picture right off the bat. An adventure would probably work out pretty okay. Let's try to go back on the game link. Um, keep it a make it a youth game. Yeah, let's... Ooh. No, let's, let's keep the cost down on it. We'll go with the Gameling. The engine is going to be the Roush 3 this time. And for our 24th game's title, A Cyberpunk Adventure. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> Sprockets. Go. <laughs> 3D graphics version 2. Uh, let's get it going. We are going to have multiplayer through the game link. We are going to have character progression. We are not going to have a steering wheel. The engine will drop down to about its halfway point. The gameplay will drop down a little bit. The story and quests we're going to bring up a bit more. Not quite to the top like an RPG, but right around there. That scared me. I thought we just stopped at 2,000. <laughs> I was gonna give up. <laughs> okay. Alright, 50,000. Not bad. Got us some hype regardless. We, we don't even have 10,000 fans yet, so yeah, we're not gonna be pulling in the top 100 booths anytime soon, but we'll get a couple blockbusters in and we'll do it. Bone Saw is still chugging. Let's actually check the progress on that. Own software to play system, 8.5. It's made us $314,000 in profit. That's fantastic. For a game that didn't supposedly, quote unquote, sell well because we picked the wrong platform, it got us a thousand fans, it made us money, had a good top sales rank. It's no Scorsesonator, it's not quite Teacher's Pet, but it's another good one to put us on the market. All right, stage two here, uh, our dialogues are gonna come up. Now for this, I'm thinking of something along the lines of, uh, Double Fine's beautiful Psychonauts, which through today is part of a, a ridiculous humble bundle, which I was actually thinking of buying. You can name your own price and you get that and a bunch of other cool stuff. Um, definitely check it out. Go look it up. It's amazing. Uh, level design, we want to keep, in fact, even higher. And AI, I'll drop just a little bit. Better dialogues, we will use. Let's really pump this game up. 
and our world design, I want it to look fun and quirky and kid friendly. The graphics can drop a little bit, it's not very motion based, and the sound I'll put just under halfway to accommodate the extra world design. Really make that stand out. Bone saw is off the market, 520,000 in sales, not too shabby at all. Sprockets is moving right along. In two months, Vena Gear will be taken off the market. Uh, we never used it, and I don't care. Let's get rid of those 10 bugs. We've got 43 hype on this game from the G3 convention. Let's see if we can make a little money off of it. Finish it up, send it out. What do we got? New topic, new combo. Cyberpunk and adventure do not go together as a great combo. Should remember that. Now let's. Oh, I wanted to research. Did not move fast enough. Okay, nice experience. Oh wow, a 7 to a 4? Oof. Oh my god, <laughs> what's the disparity here? Okay, 4, 5, 5, 7. Star Games, you are my friend. So now, let's uh, get some research going on. Topics for our next engine. I want no 2D graphics. I want no joystick, we don't need that. Let's do stereo sound. And let's get another big one, 40 points. Branching story, advanced cutscenes, dialogue tree, rich backstory, soundtrack, video playback. We're up to the PlayStation, let's have some video playback. Let's really start getting the graphics going. Oh, we really need to start making money again, guys. <laughs> oh, this is not, not the best. Alright, now I want both of you to research topics, and we need to jump right into our next game afterwards. All we have left is the dungeon at this point. Alright, fashion. We'll make something happen there. A casual fashion game, I guess. And here, aliens. Aliens are going to be easy to work with. Beta Gear is no longer supported. Oh, stay away from me with your evilness. don't want to sabotage anything. I'm doing it by the, the moral code of the game developer. Dang it. Strategy games are very popular at the moment. Noted. Okay, let us develop a new game. What do we have topic-wise? Next up is Dungeon. This has to be an RPG. It works too well. I don't care if strategy is what people want. We'll make it for everybody. We'll put it on the play system. This is going to be something we can definitely win with. Uh, now for a dungeon crawling RPG. Dwarven Sojourn? I can fit it. Look at that. Alright, good. Good. Words. Get the engine. Get the 3D graphics. Start it off. All right, story and quests all the way up. Gameplay can drop to about there. Engine can drop even further. Make it all about that story. Automatically hyped up. Sprockets is off the market, just under 200,000 in sales. I'm pretty sure that if that was profitable, it was barely profitable. Yeah, 15,000. Whew, got lucky there. And almost covered Ronnie's salary. <laughs> Uh, dialogues all the way up, please. Level design, we'll keep up there. AI, we can drop quite a bit. Easy but rich, that's what I want this game to be. A rewarding RPG experience that isn't too challenging until you get right to the very end of it. And up into stage three, we'll bring that sound up. The graphics can drop just a little bit. A world design through the roof, please. Ronnie, put all your design skill into this. I see our design bubble is pretty high up. <laughs> All right, 62. Well, the game's beautiful. We'll see if it actually holds up. Finish it up. 63 and 42. Both records. Yeah, great combo. Got a big experience multiplier. Send it to market. New research available. Mini games. We've got 77 research points, and I plan on spending them on things for our next engine because I want to aggressively pursue those if I can. So, I want to get branching story. 
and I want to get, oh, first reviews for Dwarven Sojourn. I'm seeing tens. Oh, man. There we go. We're under a million dollars. We need this game right now. Ten, nine. Still not going to be a perfect score, but ten, nine, eight, and then a two. And then a two. Do it. And another nine. All right. So pretty much nines across the board. But Star Games, again, is our best friend here. And you over here are going to get some research in. Don't think you're getting off the hook. You are going to do Dialogue Tree. Yes, you are. You're going to click on it, and you're going to do it. Oh, I can't because I have my 40 research points. I'm being stupid. All right, let's just uh, let's do some rich backstory, though. Perfect the art of storytelling. There we go. Dwarven Sojourn launching off in sales. 265,000 in its first week. All right, new game. No twist any time. So that was Dungeon. We're up to Fashion. This is going to be a casual fashion game. The platform, we're going to make it for the game lane. We're going to make it a youth game. Can we do a fashion strategy? Would that work at all? So I'd love to exploit the popular genre, but I'm afraid I just can't make that work. Let's stick with our casual. Let's, let's go with things we know we can do. Oh, uh, this will be... I don't know. <laughs> Fashionista. Fashionista. There you go. Okay, game engine. Roush 3. And young, small. Go. Go. Okay, engine we can keep down. Gameplay, I do a bump up. Story and quests can come pretty far down. Keep up just a little bit. There we go. No steering wheel, none of that. I've been playing Dwarven Sojourn and tremendously enjoyed the experience. Whoever wrote the story of Dwarven Sojourn will likely win a prize for it. Simply one of the best games I've played. Christopher Wignall, e-gaming check. Thank you, Chris. Oh, we're just at a million dollars, but it definitely has been profitable to get us back to that point. We were pretty low for a while. AI will keep low. Dialogues will drop off. And level design will put to about there. Okay, and then what I really want this game, I want it to look fun. I want the graphics and sound to appeal to everybody. We'll give it a little rich backstory, why not? And we'll drop the world design here to about halfway. Let's see what we come up with at the end here. Get rid of those 11 bugs, please. 11.7 thousand fans. Dwarven Sojourn off the market, getting uh, 767,000 in sales. And one more bug. Good. Finish. There we go. Another great combo. I'll take the experience multipliers. Ronnie gets a raise. He's up to level 4 now. Excellent. And with 1.1 million and some more research points, we have to get new topics this time. And then I'm going to send Ronnie on vacation. So, he's going to get a topic, he's going to get game dev, oh, another nice little meta one that we should do pretty well with, and I'm going to get a topic, and what do we have next? Prison! Go for it, guys. First reviews for Fashionista are in. Great balance between technology and design, thank you, Star Games. I have the strange feeling you're going to be our highest rating again, though. <laughs> All right, middle of the road, might be profitable. Might be, we'll see how that one goes. Market is normalized again, strategy is no longer a strong suit. Okay, that's 67 debut on the sales charts, not bad. Small booth, please. And then we're gonna send Ronnie on vacation as soon as we're both done research, and I'm gonna train myself a little bit. Okay, Ronnie. Send on vacation. Roush, Roush. Train. Let's get those going. Let's get Ronnie refueled, send him out to the Bahamas, put his feet in the sand for a little while, and come back to his hot coffee and 
outdated PC. We'll see how the game convention goes for us, even though we have no projects going on at all right now. <laughs> Fashionista's been on the market for almost two months and they're pumping it up for us. We had, what was it, 53 last time? Something like that? Uh, a little bit of an increase. Considering we actually lost some fans last year, that's, that's pretty good, I think. Okay, let's get this going, get it going, get it going, get it going. Fashionista's is just about finished up. I want Ronnie to come back. Oh, Ninvento announced their next generation console called TES64 today. Expected in two months, it is the world's first gaming console to support 64-bit processors for graphics and audio. Ninvento said this will allow never-before-seen 3D realism. In recent years, the Super TES has lost a lot of market share to more modern consoles. Market experts said that the hardware of the TES64 is surely impressive, but express their surprise that it still uses ROM cartridges instead of the much cheaper and higher capacity CD-ROM format. Nevertheless, the TES64 seems like an impressive console, and Invento has said that it plans to aggressively price it against Bonnie's play system. Excellent. I miss Mario 64. I miss growing up. My friend Ryan down the street had it. I go to his house. And his dad would make weird jokes about the floorboards sounding like people were farting when they walked on them. We just play that for hours. I used to get stuck on the title screen and just pull his face apart. It was great. All right, Fashionista is off the market. Ronnie's just about back from vacation. Let's get one more game going, please. We need a profitable one. Develop the game. Topic. Fashion Aliens. And this will be an action game. And we're going to make it mature. And it's going to go on our PC because it's not too far behind and it can handle mature games. Uh, what are we going to call this one? I wish you could name these things longer. I don't do well with short phrases. My brain trips up over them. <laughs> you guys should definitely leave uh, consideration for, for new names of games in the comments. I'd, I'd appreciate that because this part's very hard. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, Farshad? No. Space. X. Sure. Don't laugh too hard, guys. <laughs> My brain is hurting today. <laughs> I, I, I already want to go back in time and change that. But I just couldn't think on, on the fly. And we will add the steering wheel. We're going to have some spaceship levels in Space Destroyer X. <laughs> it, just, it makes me want to vomit saying that. <laughs> really doesn't make me happy. I want the gameplay and the engine to come up. The story and quests can stay where they are. Stupid name. I wonder if the critics will yell about the name. That would make me feel terrible about myself. Oh, we're under a million dollars again, so we really need this to bump it up. Dialogues will keep. Level design I want to put close to the top, but not all the way. And AI I want to bump up pretty big for this. I want the aliens to be tough. I want this to be a challenging game for some pretty pro players out there. Okay, and our uh, world design. Graphics, up a little bit. Sound, up a little bit. Keep those where they are, I like them. Finish this game up strong. Should get both of these over 40, nice. The N64, the, I'm sorry, the TES64 is out. The T64 has hit the market. This game is looking very good with a little bit of hype behind it. If the experience multipliers say anything at least, I'm pretty excited about that. So, finish it off. Double new record, great combo. I leveled up, beautiful. Expert boss that I am. Uh, virtual economy is now available for research. Considering where we are with funds, I just want to jump right into another new game. So, this time, we're going to go with game dev. It's going to be for everyone. It's going to be a simulation game, oddly enough. <laughs> Make a game dev action game. <laughs> Oh, that would be excellent. Maybe when I'm, I'm making millions of dollars later on, I can afford to take a chance. But right now, I need to just focus on building this company with safe bets. So uh, this one is going to be called Meta Simulator 2. And for our platform, 
uh, play system, sure. And game engine, Roush 3. And let's make it happen, $90,000. We're getting so much more expensive on the play system. First reviews for Space Destroyer XRN. Oh, that's disheartening off the bat. Okay, okay. I expected more. I expected a big one. A deep, dark action game. It's more like a crappy remake of Doom. I mean, I guess the title really hurt it here. <laughs> and we'll see what kind of money that makes for us. Uh, meanwhile, Game Dev Meta Simulator 2. Engine can drop quite a bit. Gameplay will put right around there. Story and quests up just a tad. There we go. I kept the steering wheel in. I don't care. We'll find use for it. <laughs> and these games are not making us enough money. I think I need to drop to the PC more often. Um, dialogues, we can keep where they are. Level design will drop down just a little bit. AI will keep with level design down just a little bit. working pretty hard. I like it. Well, design is good at the halfway point. Graphics we can drop down. It's about there. Sound, whatever. It'll it'll sound like a beautiful game. Let's see what these guys can do in the last stage for us. Nice, nice. I like it. 70 in design. That's a good total. New records again. We got a great combo, as if there was any doubt with that particular combination. And we have 103 research, we have 3D graphics version 3, so let's get back into things for our next engine and then new topics. We're going to spend a lot of research points right now. Or no, we're just going to get new topics, because that costs us 80. <laughs> so I want to get us history. Perfect. First reviews for Meta Simulator 2 are in. Should be pretty high. It's easy to make these ones work out. Okay. Play down to a six. All right, so sevens. Take that. We've got our research going on. Now that'll be selling at the same time as Space Destroyer X. Oh, it does pretty well. Space Destroyer got us four hundred fourteen thousand in sales. Not bad. And Meta Simulator started out pretty well for us. Okay, let's go. Let's get right into some new games. I am going to go onto the PC this time just because I need to save money on what I'm moving forward with. So we have not done Prison. Uh, prison, we will have a prison strategy game, a mature prison strategy game on the PC should be a little bit of fun, as the game wing is falling off anyway, so we can stop that. Oh, and... <laughs> oh, let's just... There we go, good, we can fit it. I was trying to figure the words out in my head. Jumpsuits of glory. You rise to the top of the American prison. The average American prison. From the bottom rung. Alright, engine can bump, gameplay through the roof, story and quests right around there. Let's get this guy going. So we don't start making money and stay over a million dollars consistently. We're never going to get out of this office. I'm worried about it. Two months to Super TES will be taken off the market. We're not using it anymore. Dialogues. I want it to be nice and rich in this game. I want it to be gritty. Level design. It's got to look like a prison. AI to about halfway. No, it's a strategy game. It should be pretty high. All right, everything's pretty much equal for that, but I guess it makes sense. And for our world design graphic and sound, world design will bump up to about there. The sound we can drop off for this one it sounds good to me. Already off the bat, our totals look like they're lower than they have been, but still not terrible. Meta Simulator 2 is off the market, got us a little bit of cash, kind of kept us alive. 
at seventy thousand dollars in monthly costs killing us. I might have to hire a new staff member and fire Ronnie. I knew it wasn't going to be a great combo, but I want to see if we made it a good game regardless. Sometimes they work. I'm not going to fire him yet. Let's just get some new topics. Uh, vocabulary. And... Vampire. Perfect. Let's see what the reviews are. Crossing my fingers on something. No. No. <laughs> Nobody wants a prison strategy game. They just want it to be a simulator. Blah, blah, blah. Jumpsuits of glory doesn't work. Nah. We should focus more on technology. Dang it. Well, on that note then, on that defeatist note, as the Super TES now leaves the market, I am going to say it's time for me to grab a shower and make my way up to work for the evening. I am going to leave off here and we'll certainly be back for some more Game Dev Tycoon and hopefully not go bankrupt. We're almost at 14,000 fans though. We're, we're climbing. It's only been 11 years. Uh, you guys have a great day. Do some productive things. I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.